dress your room. I want a clean father, okay? Okay. Peace. Toshkyo? Good luck. Hector Afu of Panama in charge of this one. Flags exchanged by the two fighters. In the corner there for Oshaki Foster, Bobby Benton, who we'll see with Regis Progre tomorrow night. That was a key move for Foster when he got out of jail. He moved out of Orange in East Texas, where he'd grown up, where there were too many distractions, too many potential problems. Took himself to Houston to train with Benton. Kubov in the red and black, Foster in the black and white, Foster starting off in an orthodox stance here for Kubov Southport, looking for a strong right hand there, Foster. Foster trying to dictate with the jab. The cube off calls in the distance really well, but just fallen short. Big wide stance from Foster. Good left hand there from the cube Close the distance nice and quick, didn't he? Then let it go. Foster has got that height advantage, some reach that will come with it as well. The cube off. Balance just comes forward a little bit there as he looks for that left hand. That was what I mentioned at the at the very start. He's a muscular looking fighter though, quite squat, five foot five, but he's got plenty of power in that upper body. He's gonna have to get the feet closer. Yakubov, if he wants to land, he's lunging in a little bit too much. Nice jab there from Foster. As you mentioned, he's got that, that wide stance, that solid base to punch off. He's got good fundamentals. Just short with that jab. He's not really managed to land it too many times. It looks good, and it's keeping Yakubov on the back foot to an extent. The wide base also, apart from having a good base, and a good, it makes it more solid, it also makes it more difficult to move in and out. The legs being too wide. It could help Yakubov go into the second phase. Good stuff. Just rolling those shoulders, trying to keep that head on the move there, Yakubov, as he, as he closes in. Fifty fights as an amateur, boxed internationally for Tajikistan. Single left hand there, good shot through from Yakubov, and led off with a right hook. Both of them just travelling forwards to each towards each other as they let go with punches there. Final few seconds of round one. Good counter right hand there from Yakubov. Probably taken this opening round. He's landed the more meaningful punches of the two. Don't get anxious, don't chase him, okay? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Не одиночный бьешь, а сразу двойку. Джеб потулочек, джеб потулочек. Okay. Хорошо, спокойненько, спокойненько. Все спокойненько. Вот так же веди. Ты читаешь его, ведешь бой. Хорошо, увидишь сам, когда. Интересный опенинг раунд между этими двумя. Якубов выбрал свои моменты. И когда он выбрал их, он выбрал их очень хорошие пунктов. Да, он выбрал. Очень эксплозивный, как этот. Это хороший шаг. Я могу видеть the corner of Yakubov in between the round just then. I don't understand the Russian that they're speaking or the Tajikistan language that they're speaking, but he was jab over, jab over. So we'll see if it works. That was that combination which just landed then and it landed well. So start of round two. Yakubov 
again, just quickly to the centre of the ring. Foster looking to, to use that jab. It's nice and sharp, but he's just been a little bit short with it so far. Now switching to South Boys, capable of switching pretty fluently between those two stances. Started off orthodox, now into that left-handed stance. Faint there from Yakubov. Foster again trying to stick that jab. It's Yakubov who's holding the middle here for the most part. Foster just kind of rotating around him. The switching has just slowed Yakubov down a little bit. He's, he's thinking a little bit more now. Really steps in there, Yakubov, and tries to land that left to commit if he wants to be able to land on Foster. There's a good jab from Foster, southpaw jab. And that just knocked the forehead back of Yakubov. He's got to get that going against the fighter like this, who is shorter. He's got to really commit, like I said, hasn't he, to close that gap. He's got to try and catch him on the way in. Yeah, and I think Foster now knows southpaw is the way forward. Yakubov is, looks a little bit of a different fighter. He's a bit more tentative of, of lunging in and committing. And Foster's landed a lot more shots this round than he did in the previous round from the southpaw stance. Again, just snapping with that lead hand. Leading off with the hook there, Yakubov, and then steps in behind another one. Sets his feet and looks to try and wing in a left. Jab got through from Foster. The left hand in the one-two didn't quite make it. Foster just giving a little bit of ground there, then happy to throw that lead hand when he sees Yakubov closing in. Final minute of round two. It's been better stuff from Foster this round. Again, as I say, from the southpaw stance. Also, when he faints down to the body, he does a little weird movement with his right hand, and he dips it down, and every time he's doing it, he's getting a reaction from Yakubov. Use that later on to start to set traps. Faint to the body, come over to the head. Final few seconds of the second round, these two just clashing as they move towards each other in the center of the ring, and... Bit of confidence there from Foster at the end. Все хорошо, все правильно, все работаешь правильно. Не давай ему инициативу, не давай ему атаковать. Все время напрягай его и все время пускай он пятится. И хорошо даешь ему промахнуться. Сразу сразу руку на на глаза и туда потолще. За руку туда, длинный бей. Мы с тобой отрабатывали это, понял? Руку. But an interesting first couple of rounds. When you watch tape of these two before the contest, as, as we both spent a good amount of time doing, you can see the advantages that Foster would possibly have with the height and the reach and, and the way that he delivers those nice sharp shots. And we knew that Yakubov would have to close that gap quick. What he can't be is one dimensional. No, he can't. I think, as you say, when we watch both fighters, Probably why I was thinking this could be the best bout of the night so far, an evenly matched bout. Two good fighters, capable fighters. At the moment, I've got it around the piece. There's not much in it so far, but I think it's all down to the, the, the tactics in this fight. Foster's come out southpaw again, which I think he now knows that's where he's going to have the most success with if he stays southpaw. When he was in an orthodox stance, oh, good shot. Yakubov didn't have any regard for him, was just walking forward, not much respect. Now he's thinking about it, now he's, he's staying off Yakubov, he's trying to get the distance, that's a good shot. Really stepped in there and let the one-two go through a right hook off the back of it. About 20 seconds before that, they managed to manoeuvre Foster back into his own red corner and let that left hand go. When we were talking about how wide Foster's feet were, this is where he needs to narrow them up to push out of range each time Yakubov attacks because when he attacks, it's the same thing. He lunges forward, push out of range as he's coming in. Yakubov will fall short, fall short, and then you can counter. But you have to push out of range. Nice sharp jab. 
from Foster. That jab just catches Yakubov as he moves forward there. Just knocks him off balance. Jab to the body there from Yakubov. Again, he's just managed to corral Foster back towards that red corner, but he finds an exit along the ropes. Long left to the body. He's cut the ring off pretty well in this round, hasn't he, Yakubov? He has, but again, we, we see when he throws shots, it's a step. He almost steps with his, with his lead foot, with his right foot, instead of just pushing and, and inching into the to distance to then let them go. He's jumping into range and getting caught as a result, Andy. Well, that's what you were talking about there. He, he committed, the, the weight came forward, and he just did take his feet out a little bit there, Ashaki Foster, and managed to clip him with a couple as he was on his way in. It's an interesting battle. That right hand to the body, that lead right hand to the body for Yakubov could, could be quite key for him as we head down the stretch as well. You get the feeling that Foster's kind of OK backing up to the corner there. He's not really being pushed back, is he? He's no. giving that ground. Yeah, he's choosing to. He's choosing to go there. That's good stuff from him. See, there's that push out what I'm talking about, and I think I think he can make it easier for himself by doing so. It will nullify Yakubov because he's just lunging in and jumping in, as we've just seen then. So round three, drawing to a close. It's kind of absorbing tactical battle this one so far. Чуть-чуть нога передняя отстает, заваливаешься. Поэтому выходи все время на на боковой или на прямой. Вот то, что туда сюда, не оставайся на на правой руке там. Ты заваливаешься, он тебя завязывает и все. Понимаешь? Выйди на переднюю. Любым ударом наплевать, чтобы ты в стойку вернулся. They're hard decoys, you know. Make him fucking cringe up, and then you can battle on him, okay? That's your Shaki Foster corner. Okay. You yeah, touch yeah, him a little bit. Yeah, no okay. Like you just started to shake your rust around. Yeah, I'll just stay inside Shorten your step up. Bobby Benson echoing some of the advice that that Paul's been giving alongside me there. He feels Foster, you heard him, that he's beginning to sharpen up to shape up nicely. Looking to get onto the jab right at the start of the round there. And Kubov. Aiming for the same thing, looking for that right hand to the body. Three rounds in, it's early days. Well, I do wonder sometimes when you've got an undefeated fighter, Paul Inukubov, 18 and 0, he's never really been pushed close. What he's done has always worked. Is there going to be much of a plan B? That's what I wonder. Exactly. You see that with some fighters, with most fighters, but he, he will have to change this up. He's lunging in, and instead of lunging in, he has to step in. He has to get closer before he lets the shots go. But to do so, you have to have a bit more confidence in yourself. Foster, I like the way he goes back to the ropes, but he doesn't go all the way back, if you notice. He's always got range to push back where he is now. He can always lean back. Now he's too close, he needs to get out of there. The edge is back, and he invites you in, and then he can take that step out of range there, like he did then. Trainers often say, don't they, as soon as you feel that bottom rope on the back of your calf, that's when you need to go. Yeah, but also the good fighters will have, with, with, with good ring craft will know where the ropes are going to be. You know you're just a little bit away from the ring, you can see in your peripheral vision where the ropes are, and then you move. Or you, you know you've always got that comfort to step back. Kubov again just aiming the jab to the body, then went up top, that was a good shot. Travel through the guard, doubling up on it, the second one got there. A bit more compact in this round so far, Yakubov. Hasn't really taken that massive step too often and, and thrown those big wide hooks that we've seen with the left hand. Nice jab again there from Yakubov. That time he did commit, but he got nice and close, bent the knees, dropped the height a little bit. When he's getting Yakubov, when, when Yakubov is getting 
Foster to the ropes, he's not doing nothing. He's doing the good work, getting him to the ropes, and then he's not committing because Foster's pushing out of range. Yeah, he's doing all the good work, getting him in now. Now he needs to go, have an attack, and then try and keep him there. But Foster's finding a way to get out and finding a way to counter him. It's good stuff. Phil punch of that combination landed there from Foster. Not particularly clean, a little bit of a slap with the inside of the glove. Final 30 seconds of round four. Just caught with a jab on the way in there, Yakubov. Knocked him off balance, and as a result, the combination he threw didn't really have too much of an effect. Very solid, nice left hand there, though, from Foster, just chopping down. Just pick your speed up a little bit. You're, you're hitting, you're throwing heavy shots. All right, keep on the field, okay? So defensively, beautiful, right? Don't muscle your shots in there. Let's pick your speed up, okay? You just starting to shake your rust. It's okay. It's slow. Любой любая комбинация на левый закончил. Она летит и попадаешь ты ей. А ты лучше молодец. Не забывай. Well, this is a scene at the tennis stadium in Dubai. WBC eliminator between Mohamed Yakubov, who you're looking at there, and Oshaki Foster. Foster's WBC silver title also on the line. to round number five. Something to bear in mind here that this is a WBC title fight and as such there is going to be WBC open scoring to an extent because after round four and round eight we were told that the scores from the three judges at ringside would be given to the corners but not to us and therefore unfortunately not to you watching at home either. That's how they've decided to do this so they will know how this stands through four rounds we've been looking at the corners like hawks me and paul smith in the <laughs> in the break between rounds but we haven't got any clues from them as to what the the piece of paper that's in the yakubov cut man's hands away to my right hand side might say we might get more of an indication through eight rounds Just inching forward there, Yakubov. That's what he needs to do more of, Andy. Not lunging in, pressure and clever with the feet, just step by step, and then when you're in range, let your hands go and then get back out. Doubling up on the jab, Foster, then, which is a little bit too close by the time he got to throwing the left. Left hand to the body from Yakubov. He's invested in some decent body work in the first four rounds of this fight. Close a gap quick there and off the back of the jab through that overhand left, Yakubov. Foster was on his way out, so it didn't land all that heavy. He's doing that again at the moment, Yakubov. He's doing all good work, getting him into the corner. Then when he gets there, he's not doing enough. Foster very elusive. There's not an awful lot in many of these rounds, though, is there? And we've talked about scoring ad infinitum in boxing in recent weeks. It's a never-ending debate, and Yakubov is the fighter going forward. He's holding the center of the ring. Leads off with a right hook there. Foster is doing his work more off the back foot, picking his punch as well. But you do get judges who, who favour the man who gets on the front foot. Yeah, I like that combination, man. That, that count, counter right hook from Foster. He just tried it again, but missed. You see that, that again, getting him back to the ropes. There's an old saying, Buddy McGaird used to say, you've done all the good work breaking in, you only steal one thing. You know, you've got to, you've got to really make the most of your opportunities when you get him to the ropes. Yeah, Kubov just letting his hands go there towards the towards the end of the round. That was a pretty effective round, I thought, for the fighter from the from the blue corner. 
kept it pretty compact. He wasn't over expansive. Didn't leave himself too open. And swell just being used by the corner there. Trainer Vladimir Vidov. Trains out of that RCC gym in Ekaterinburg, and you've been over there, you know what a good setup that is. What, probably the best gym in the world, one of the best gyms I've, I've been in. My brother Liam was fighting there. We were there for the week, uh, training in there, using the facilities, and it was absolutely top class. Everything in there was, was top class, the best of the best, and, and they have a good setup over there. All these pro fights have been in Russia so far, so this a first for Yakubov. Foster had one in Costa Rica not too long ago. Yes. Well, back to Orthodox here, Foster, at the start of the sixth. Last couple of rounds have been quite close, but may have probably gone to Yakubov, so he may feel like he needs to change something up and refresh something Foster. For me, I, I would stick South Pole, but you know, they, they, they know what they've been working on, they know the game plan. And he's certainly competent enough to do both. You couldn't really tell whether he's a natural South Pole or Orthodox just by looking at him. No, you couldn't. Nice shot. Right hand there for him, Foster. Good balance to it as he threw it. He was a good amateur. He was an alternate for the London 2012 games. Got beaten to the spot by Jojo Diaz. In what was a really, really good American team. But they didn't win a single medal. Errol Spence, Jamel Herring, Michael Hunter, Dominic Brazil, Rorschi Warren. So many of them have gone on to do so well as pros. They just didn't manage to do it. Jose Ramirez was another one. Marcus Brown is a great team. Yeah. Great team of pros. The great team of pros, exactly. That's probably what it was. You know, they, they are people that forget, you know, very, very similar but different, so different. Nice, that's nice stuff there from Foster. Timed that very well. Straight left hand there from Yakubov. Again, found the target. Neither one of these two is, has hurt the other yet. We've not seen any kind of reaction from either Foster or Yakubov to make us think that they've really felt anything. Big, solid left hand there from Yakubov, but a little bit of a kind of drag punch almost. It's the final minute of round six. He's been down the stretch over 12, three times. Yakubov. So he's got more experience than Foster in that regard. It's been clever stuff from Foster this round. You know, I like him waiting and taking his time and trying to counter Yakubov. He's picked that right hand well. Just sat back on it a little bit and used those long arms to keep it down the middle. Again, this is a round that's pretty difficult to score. For me, I think a little badge just come off the shorts there. The referee will have to be notified. See? It's probably a good job he slipped. There's a badge in the centre of the green canvas with the referee stood on now. Just a tangle of front feet there towards the end. And the referee just picking up that WBC badge and handing it to the ringside supervisor. So the midway point here is... Don't get up high when you're turning that corner. Not too much in this. Let's have a listen. Feel that back leg, okay? Let him calm down. Take a deep breath. See a cue ball pour in that lead right hand out and takes a, a nice backhand right hand from Foster from the orthodox stance. As I say, in that round, I, I felt personally that there was a few more eye-catching shots from Fo Foster. That was a little coming together at the end of the round. Been tough to score, hasn't it, Andy? Some rounds have been really close, really tough to score. It has. It's been, it's been nip and tuck at times. I did question after three rounds whether Yakubov would have a plan B 
available to him should he need it, but he's kept employing the same method. He's just tightened it up and done it better, really, over the last two or three rounds, I would say. It's an eliminator with the WBC. Whoever wins it will go through to face Robson Conceição, who won another eliminator against Javier Martinez. That's certainly what the two teams are expecting. And then a shot of the title would follow. And by that stage, we don't know who that'll be because Oscar Valdez, the WBC champ, will fight Shakur Stevenson, the W. What is a pretty mouth-watering prospect? Left hand to the body there from Yakubov. Now Foster's obviously orthodox. We see a lot of tangling with the feet. The left hand landed round the side of the head, yeah. really. The corner went absolutely crazy away to my right hand side, and they're, and they're doing it again here. And trying to get the get the crowd going and influence the judges at, at ringside, possibly. <laughs> Little faint there from Yakubov and then looks to throw the jab. <laughs> I like what he's doing in this seventh round so far, Yakubov. He, he kind of looks full of confidence all of a sudden. There's a real spring in his step. It's him who's moving around Foster in the centre of the ring at times and spinning off that front foot, which we've not seen him do all that much. Good example of it there, just rolls yeah, away underneath the, the jab hand. Southpaw now, Foster. Is that encouraging if you're Yakubov to see him switch back again and then again? Yeah, for, for me it is. It's encouraging, but sometimes it can be off-putting. But when, when, when you're this deep into a fight and you know he's had success when he was orthodox and he's turning back Southpaw, means he's maybe running out of ideas, maybe needs to switch things up mentally. But I've been impressed with the, the, the evasive skills this round of Yakubov. He's been getting out of the way of good shots. Making Foster miss a lot. Well, there goes the bell at the end of the seventh. It's interesting stuff, this. It's, it's toing and froing and ebbing and flowing throughout the course of the round so far. Just a reminder, the corners will get the scores again at the end of this round that we've got coming up. So we'll, we're going to stay with the boxing and we'll, we'll see what we can do, whether we can get some kind of indication, some kind of steer as to how the, the cards are through eight rounds. What's your view on open scoring? For, for me, it's something I would prefer not to happen. I think if, if, if you're way behind in a fight and you get the scores, it can be demoralised. If you're way ahead in a fight and you absolutely beat that and have nothing left in the tank, you'll, you'll fight on, regardless, knowing that you only have to survive, you know, and, and it can be dangerous for fighters. But, you know, I, I think it may it may keep judges on the toes so they can't rob fighters too much. It may stop a bit of incompetence or corruption if there is any. So there's an argument for both sides. I think not announcing them to the arena is probably quite a good idea because if you've got two judges who are in agreement, basically, yeah and an odd one out, then the odd one out is probably going to think they might be wrong, and they might not be wrong, and then it gets in your head and anything can happen. That's exactly... If you, I don't get all good shot here from Foster. Nice left hand from Foster, Yakubov just leaning in there and looking to hold on a little bit. I think he was hurt there. Yeah, he felt that. Foster shrugs him off and throws another right. For the first time, I think one of these two has put a little bit of a dent in the other one, and Foster knows it. Opening minute of round eight. And Yakubov is looking to get a hold. Those legs don't look absolutely solid to me. The knee's just a little bit loose, but then picks a big overhand left and landed it. Foster took it well, though, in the centre of the ring. But I think he might be a little bit shaken up by the Shaki Foster. The pair of them have landed some quite heavy artillery there for the first time, really. Yeah, 
Kubov looking to try and establish that jump if he can. Costa chopping down with the left hand and you can just see, can't you, that a little chunk has been taken off the energy bar of both of these two. There's a bit of spite in the shots from Foster in this round. Chopped that left hand in over the top. Really nice. Yakubov's no secret that he's hurt. But he also gave Foster a little reminder that he can't just walk forward and walk through him. You see there, him obviously looking to hold. He's a little bit tired. He's feeling the pace a little bit. But he's obviously hurt. Just needs to see the round out, recover in the minute rest. One minute to go in this round. Good shot again from Foster. That was a really well timed straight left hand as Yakubov was moving off to his right as well. Just sprayed it wide there, Foster. Adjusted to his opponent's movement. 40 seconds remaining in the round, and this has been a, a good round for Ashaki Foster. He did catch that big left from Yakubov, but I think he wore it pretty well. And this maybe just halted a bit of momentum that Yakubov had built up because those middle rounds, five, six, seven, he would have got at least a couple of them, I think. Because the rounds have been close, you know what I mean? There's fights which are clear cut. But these yeah, rounds have been something. very difficult to score, so... Hey, you still ain't gone to the body. Right? No, agreed. Yeah, when you do, it's going to be very little in a lot of them. Yeah, it's what you like in some of them rounds there. Yeah, and yeah, again, I think, it's, I think it's close myself, personally. He's doing the exact same thing this round. Uh -huh. It's what Don't the judges have picked and what they like. He's, he's yeah. slingshotting that bullshit up there. That chopping left hand, what we spoke about with Foster. Bit of spite in the shots. Chopping down really nice. And he's hit 100% Yakubov. He's definitely hurt him, and you could see by the way he was wanting to hold on and survive through the round, but come back with that lovely big back left hand from him himself. Where now they know how this stands through eight rounds. Good left hand there, single left hand from Yakubov. He seems to recover pretty well after to that eighth round where he was definitely hurt by Foster. Foster also exerted a lot of energy, didn't he? Trying to, trying to close the show, trying to get the stoppage after he hit Yakubov. Looks like he took his foot off the gas a little bit this round, maybe having a little bit of a rest. It happens, you know, you see fighters take the round off without realising they're actually doing it, they're just not working hard enough. Good job from both fighters. Again, just countering with the left hand there, Foster. Final 30 seconds of round nine would be interesting to get into Foster's corner between rounds and have a little listen because we can't understand the blue corner. It's quite it's as simple as that, really, isn't it? Yeah. But also, listen, we could be listening and they could be telling he's down just to try and keep him. That's a good left hand from both. The right hook from Yakubov. Good shot to finish the round there from Yakubov. Nice jab from Oshaki Foster. And again, it's one of those rounds where there wasn't an awful lot to choose between the two. Yeah, I thought Foster just took his foot off the gas that round. And I've seen him doing that, which you've just seen in the replay. He tries to ride the shot, but he turns his head completely to look into the crowd. And if Yakubov can put another punch on the end of it, he'll, he'll certainly stop him doing doing that. As I said, we yeah, wanted to try and listen in. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, on the inside, give them little shots on there. Keep killing their Both corners. Both corners. Absolutely zen-like. Not giving anything away at all. So into the 10th we go. Three remaining here, scheduled for 12. The WBC Silver Super Featherweight title on the line. And it's also a WBC Super Featherweight title eliminator. Oshaki Foster in the black and white. Boxing out of Texas, USA. Mohamed Yakubov of Isfra, Tajikistan in the red and black. And this is close. The rounds have been difficult for him. Nice 
nice combination there from Foster. Through nine, you've got five, four, have you, I think? I've got a five, four, yeah. In favour of your cue ball. In favour of your cue ball, I think he took his foot, Foster took his foot off the gas last round. And now that level after eight. Combination again there from Foster. Looks to lead off with uh, an uppercut there, a right uppercut. Didn't quite land it, but it was a, a good solid one two just before that. Foster to me has come out like someone who may have been told he's down or may have been told he needs these rounds. But again, it's all the kidology and psychology of a fighter. Do you tell him he's up because he might take his foot off the gas? Do you tell him he's down because you need more from him? You know, you don't always believe what you hear from corners. Nice. Just came nice straight away the left hand there, Foster, didn't he? Off the back of a left from Yakubov. Foster now again doing that nice circle and around the outside of the ring, not too close to the ropes. He's landed some good shots. A minute remaining in round 10. Again, just giving that crowd that turns his way out of the corner and pops a nice jab. Counters that left hand with a the right there, Foster. It's interesting how this fight has, as I described earlier, just toed and froed. Yakubov stepping in with a, a decent combination there at points, so both fighters have looked like they might be about to really get the grip on it because their confidence was up, but it's never quite happened for either one of them. He's being, he's being last in the argument every time, Foster. He's having the last say, the final say. Really good round from him here. And he knows it. You can tell he has yeah. demeanor there. And when the clapper goes, it's Yakubov who feels like he needs to, to steal the round or to take the round. So, two to go. He's a survivor, okay? I promise he's ready to fall. He got good in him, okay? Well, Bobby Benson pretty strong there, yeah. saying that Yakubov's in survival mode, that he's ready to fall, that he's got some quit in him. He, he looks like a little bit disconsolate on the yeah. on the stool there. You, you make the corner, doesn't it? Sometimes you need that in a fight like this. A lot of the time you need that in a fight like this. Nice, calm head. So into the 11th. Shaki Foster, who's switched between stances, but for the most part is box southpaw, which is what we expected to see. Although he came out in the first round orthodox, Shakubov very much a left hander. Foster with some real confidence, there's some wind in his sails here. I think maybe he knows that he's, he's in the ascendancy here. Shot, really good shot. Just got caught with a little right hand as he'd opened out there, Foster. And he is trying to round home. He's got the, the punches bit, more, he's got isn't the he? bit between his teeth now, Foster. You can see it. He's listening to the corner's advice. He's landing some really good shots. He's, I felt like he hit Yakub, Yakubov just before. snappy jab there from Foster Yakubov. Oh, nice. Just closing in the way they come forward. The balance went a touch as he looked for that left hand. It is a, a slight technical issue that he's got. He will, generally speaking, be sure to the most people he fights. So he does have to close that that distance. At times he's done it well. Walks straight onto a jab there and big, he's rocked back onto his heels. Big stiff jab that just absolutely put him right in the back of his heels. He walked right onto it. As I said, Foster really turning the screw at the moment. Finding a lot of success with the counters, and that's a good combination from Foster. 
and it's all coming off the jab. His, his best work is all coming off the jab. He throws that one two off the back of it. Yakubov's on unsteady legs. He looks tired, he looks drained, and he's feeling sorry for himself at the moment. Foster's absolutely putting it on him here. I think he can get him out of there. I think the corner was right. He spotted something that not many others in the arena will have spotted. Stepped in and found a nice uppercut about 20 or so seconds ago. But he's still keeping it simple. He's not going gong-ho, throwing crazy amounts of punches. He's just picking them really, really well. Good right hand there from Yakubov. And steps in and finds another right. Foster didn't really rate the first one. He felt that he was slipping out of range, but he got caught clean with the second. I'd like to see Foster bring the uppercut in, the left uppercut. He's falling over his front foot every time, Yakubov. Good counter there from Foster. Very, very quick right hand. He's enjoyed this round, Oshaki Foster. Smile on his face as he in the corner, Yakubov. Does look like a slightly beaten yeah, man as he goes back to that blue corner. I don't think there's any quit in him. I'll make Bobby Benson wrong about that, but the call he made about him maybe being ready to go doesn't seem like it's too far wide of the mark. No, I think he was right. I think he was on to something. He saw something, and I think he was right. He hurt Yakubov in that last round. He was unsteady on his legs. He got put right back onto his heels with a jab, as you pointed out. That shot hurt, and you can see as he steps back. has just run down for Yakubov these last two, three rounds, despite the fact that he's been down the stretch. And we mentioned it before, he's never really been pushed close. And so even though you've been 12 rounds three times, it's probably 12 rounds where you've dictated the tempo and boxed at your pace. And that makes a huge difference. Whereas here it's, it's to and fro. It's been nip and tuck at times. He has had pockets of success here, Yakubov. He's, he's boxed well in spells, but he's just never really been in a fight like this before. Foster's had a couple of defeats. He has found himself in some tight situations. The trip away to Pennsylvania when he desperately needed a win when he came out of jail was one such occasion. Another one against John Fernandez when his career was on the line again, really. And into the final round, and Yakubov has got to come out and give it absolutely everything here. A little push out of range again from Foster, which has helped him so much in this fight tonight. Oh, nice stuff from Foster there. That's a class combination. That was right above us, and you could just see the eyes just dull slightly from Yakubov, honestly, as that left hand landed. Got his wits back about him pretty quickly. He's going to push it right until the end here, Yakubov. He catches Foster with a, with a right hand there. Foster with the one two. Yakubov though just being urged on by the corner. Midway through the round, Yakubov just manages to slip that jab from Foster, steps in with a left, but Foster pulled those feet back. He was out of range. Yakubov's so tired, he's really put everything into this, it's not for lack of effort if he, get, if he doesn't get this decision. Foster's box really go, oh good and shot! he goes, eventually he is put down Yakubov, managed to get those gloves out and prevent himself from a sprawling. The round and he's a long time to go. Flat on his back but there is a long way to go here and that was a good shot but partly exhaustion as well I think when you look at the way that he went down. Foster trying to chop down with that left. Good right hander from Foster, and Yakubov takes a, a staggered step away to his right hand side. 30 seconds remaining. He's trying to keep that upper body on the move there. Yakubov dipping low at the waist. Foster just seeing if he can line him up for one more clean shot. Good jab there from Yakubov. Brave effort from Yakubov. Still coming forward, being dropped bad in this round. Head tired and he's still going for it.
final few seconds. Left hand there from Foster. There goes the bell. He raises that right hand in celebration. Yakubov wanders back to his corner with a little bit of a, a shake of the head. Bobby Benson hoisting his man up in the air. They've got the win there. They're very confident of that. They put a real seal on it, a stamp on it with that lockdown in the final round. Through seven or eight rounds, it was it was pretty tight. As, as you said yourself, there were lots of close rounds. Yakubov had a good little spell in the middle rounds. We felt Foster with a lovely crisp one two there though. The jab just bounced off the forehead and then the left hand just went sailing straight down the middle. Nice shot. Again, if that shot landed, which he did plenty of time early on in the, in the fight, there wouldn't have been a knockdown. It's, it's just exhaustion, tiredness. It zapped the legs as soon as the shot landed. And I think the right man has, has won this fight. The man who got the knockdown. And he, showed some, performance. he showed some really good skills, didn't he? Yeah. He showed some really good skills. As I said at the start, these are two fighters who wouldn't be that well known to the wider boxing public, but he's got a good story, O'Shaki Foster. He knows what adversity is like in his personal life, in his professional life. He's managed to bounce back from it. And I think it was that kind of seasoning that played a big part in this because Yakubov has, has had it all his own way in his career. He's won the fights he's been put into. You can't do any more than that. But he'd never been in a fight where he was really pushed and he was really made to work at a pace at times that maybe he didn't want to work at. Yeah, he's had it all his own way, obviously winning, unbeaten, but ultimately tonight he come up against, against someone that he, he couldn't figure out. He, he, he had sort of one game plan and that was to, to, to push forward, lunge in, land shots on the distance. And he needed a bit more than that to, 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 to come in anywhere near the Shaki Foster tonight who had thought box really well. Some of the rounds are quite close as well, you know. I think I think the scores may be a little bit different. Some could be wide, some could be quite close, but I think on average around of eight rounds to four or five or seven rounds to five, 115, 113, 116, 114, which will now be 115, 112, which I have it at 116, 113 because of the knockdown. But it's what you like, it's what the judges like. But there's no doubt who's to as to who has got the win here. I think we could yeah. I think we could safely say that. Okay, let's find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the ring. President Suleiman has the belt. Referee will bring together our boxers. I have the judges score totals. They read as follows. Judge Michael Tate, 118109. Both judges, David Irving, Gary Kitanowski, 117110. All for the winner, who now becomes the mandatory challenger for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And still, the WBC Silver Super Featherweight Champion from the USA Oshaki Icewater Foster. So Oshaki Foster gets it by scores of 10 rounds to two with one judge, nine rounds to three with the other two with the knockdown in there as well. That widens the margin. It's a good display from him. And he finished the fight with some real flair. And there is a WBC silver belt celebrating with Maurizio Sula.